<clears throat> so I guess I should start by saying, yes, I did make that hole in my top 100 series just so that I could make them into premieres that would last me till Ultimate and so I could vacation from YouTube to play Ultimate. But that's fair, considering how amazing Smash added up to be. It's amazing, fast, competitive. I've already begun uh, becoming a master at Pokemon Trainer. I guess you could call me a Pokemon master. <laughs> Not really, don't call me that, that's a lie. Although I finished at least eight Pokemon games. Anyway though, where to start with Ultimate? First of all, I'll start with the downsides. It's not Ultimate because it doesn't have my Isaac and my Geno and my Shadow and my Geno. Literally, save those for DLC because Piranha Plant is the perfect assist trophy. Now I got that. Uh, <clears throat> now that I got all the brands out of the way, um, the the bads out of the way. Oh my God, uh, the scripting. I always say this. Um, now that we got all the bads out of the way, the goods. It's fantastic and speedy and it's great online. And World of Light was a major success along with Spirit. Classic mode is super fun. I've spent hours of me making an amiibo and the vault because of challenges and music and the shop and I can't flip and resist but see my stats, but that's beyond the point. The characters are fun and exhilarating and I've just talked about the game, so why don't I just start with a little someone else? Joker, leader of the Phantom Thieves and stealer of Waluigi's Invitation. On the morning of Smash, while well, waiting for the release, I looked on media, which I had avoided the past few days, uh, and saw, Hey, this Persona dude or what got added? I was like, Bibs, give me the truth. So I looked and uh, one of my favorite Nintendo tubers uh, posted about it, and I was like, Yo, Austin, you crazy! I checked, I, I, <clears throat> I clicked on the video, and surely a character I'd barely heard about that all I knew about uh, had two. That all that all I knew was that had two memes: the "you'll never see it coming" and the gun meme. Besides that, I knew he had belonged to Atlas and Sega and was very popular and requested in Smash. But you know, I went on uh, this lifetime journey to understand each and every Smash character and their backgrounds, and I played a bit of each of their games and stuff. So you know I had to watch a 50 hour cutscene video on YouTube about Persona 5. Thank you again for the YouTubers that provide those videos, oh my god. That must have been torture, I know making uh, that uh, Top 100 series was. Uh, Persona... Uh, wait. I looked away for the script, from the script for a second. Uh, but I quickly fell in love with uh, music and characters. And Persona 5 just clicked, and soon enough, I was ready for his appearance in Smash. Or Joker's appearance in Smash. Really, this script is bad. To this day, I think he has the best lore in any video game of all time. And if I remade my top 100 video games of all time list, I would put Ultimate in um, spot number 4. And put Persona 5 as an NY title, uh, probably in between 30 and 20. Um, seriously, I'm that into this thing. So please, have a switch port. Bayonetta did after she got in. Anyway, let's talk seriousness. So, I know Joker hasn't really been shown off yet, but I have a few things I'd like to discuss, starting with the stage it received. Now, I had a few ideas. DLC for Smash character stages has always been stage that fans of their series would recognize, like Suzaku Castle and Upper Clock Tower and Snowden. Whoops, not yet, shoot. Anyway, I had a few ideas for Joker. My first was Shujin Academy. But I feel it's too weird posting his school for a character who the entire game tries to hide his identity at. And he'll just be there with his mask on, walking around the school and stuff. So, uh, my thoughts drifted to uh, LeBlanc then, uh, the cafe in which Joker lives at. I'm pretty sure I pronounced that right. But it seemed too personal and too repetitive to have two living rooms as stages. Then I thought about downtown Shibuya or Shibuya Station. Two of the game's most reoccurring locations and places you learn about at the very beginning. 
but it just didn't feel right again. Too public for um, Joker's character. And although the casino is where he was publicly seen in his costume uh, for the very first time, I think the casino is a bit inappropriate for kids who play this game. So what was the perfect place for Joker to have as a stage? Methinks the Velvet Room. A room you as Joker are occasionally teleported to in your dreams once you end the daily cycle. Uh, it's easy to make and easy to hide references in, making it already a fine candidate for Joker stage. It's not public or too mature, and in fact, if you're a diehard Persona fan who hated Persona 5 for some reason, uh, the Velvet Room also occurs in every game of the Persona mainline franchise. Uh, only difference is the layout of the room, which is uh, where the Velvet Room stage hazards uh, would come in, where it from time to time reforms itself into a different version of the Velvet Room, whether it be the elevator to the limousine. The Velvet Room is truly the perfect stage and fits the bill like a glove. Moving on to music. I think Sega is going for a pattern with putting music from their reps games into uh, a limit of 10 to 30 tracks. That's a fair amount, it may just be enough track space to satisfy most of the fans who want the Persona music in there uh, that they love. Uh, although I do think there will be a major focus on Persona 5, 5's music uh, over the past Persona games, which is personally fine with me because I think uh, personally that Persona 5's music is uh, uh, the best in the franchise. It would be composed of the basic ones, like Life Will Change, both lyrical and instrumental. River in the Desert, or Rivers in the Desert, I'll have to look that up in a minute, but uh, you'll see me, uh, you'll, ne <laughs> you'll never see me coming. Maybe even some more chill tracks, like Beneath the Mask, but as you can expect, that's just the tip of the iceberg right there, but uh, rest assured, your favorite track will likely be there. Lastly, the moment you've all been waiting for, move set and color swap options. I believe that Joker's basic attacks will all use his uh, his weapons like his daggers and stuff and his ba basic punches and kicks, but his smash will likely be more based on his gun or acrobatic attacks. I can say the exact same thing about his aerials too. His taunts can be his famous poses from his art and winning animations can be taken directly from his parts and trailers and sorts. Uh, oh, and obviously his entrance is going to be him dropping in from above like the start of his trailer. I also do think he uh, he might have a Polytana's Guidance or Snake's Codec thing going on because it's been a tradition to give uh, that to a single fighter in every game up to this point, uh, starting in Brawl. Um, or maybe Melee with the uh, Fox, um, Fox Conversations things, but... Um, uh, uh, yeah, Polytane is going to Snake's Code thing because uh, um, because it's a tradition to give that to a single fighter in every game up to this point. In which I thought the Inkling might have uh, being with Captain Cuttlefish and his granddaughters. Uh, but uh, obviously they didn't make it in. I don't know. I thought it would be a cool little touch. Continuing though, Joker specials. I think uh, his... Um, I think all his... I think that all his specials will have to do with our scene or other personas. I guess that clears that pretty fast. And finally, I was watching the Persona 5 cutscenes, and when I saw the all out attack, I said, Final Smash. I have no doubt. Because him using his god persona and begonning his opponents is way too OP. Be honest with yourself. Anyway, last topic, color swaps. I know there's a lot of potential, it, uh, but uh, I think it'll only be color swaps. I don't think he'll be able to change into his other phantom thieves allies or be able to change into any of the other uh any of his other in-game costumes because it's too risky on the idea of joker itself being here as joker um but i do think that his colors will directly reference his phantom thieves or um his phantom thieves allies or uh, pre previous persona protagonist protagonists definitely I'll say that again, but without the script. Um, but I do think the colors um, will definitely reference 
um, his allies in his game, or the, um, the protagonist from the past Persona games. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty much that. I, I, mm, I can't tell you how many takes I've taken on this thing already. Huh. <sighs> so, um, I swallow. What did you think of my picks? I thought they were pretty on fleek, but, uh, anyway, thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all later. Goodbye, mate.